2021 has been such a blessing in so many ways. I'm beyond grateful and humbled by everyone's generosity. So thank you, Lilac Blonde, for gifting me the best toad story of the year in sneakers, the Air Jordan 3 on the Manier. This pair is something special. James Whitner and Jordan Brand created something not only paying tribute to women, specifically black women, but also a pair that did not exclude men. And that's right, today we're unboxing the Air Jordan 3 Ama Manier. Now, this is the talk of the entire sneaker world right now, arguing back and forth, is it sneaker of the year? I must say, from the packaging, the presentation, everything, it absolutely checks all the boxes for me. Now, a very special thank you to Lilac Blonde, to both Andrew and Abby. Andrew is a longtime supporter of my channel, as well as his daughter, Abby. And their mission is to provide women with access to shoes specifically for us, but also in our sizing. And that's something amazing. So let's start with the breakdown of the shoe. We have the good quality or the quality good tag present, as well as the hang tag. And ladies, we don't see this all the time on our pairs, so it's absolutely an elevated touch. Moving on to the quality leather present on a Jordan 3, I believe to me it's something that always stands out when it comes to a Jordan 3 versus other pairs you may see, but the raw edge leather elevates the leather present on the actual sneaker itself. I think it adds something special to the overall look, tone, and presentation. Now the iconic elephant print was stripped off from the Jordan 3 and instead replaced with a high quality suede James immediately took to knowing this sneaker would turn heads. You have the dual tone midsole that features purple and white, but then also just beneath that, the sail present and the Nike Air on the back, which is not given to all pairs. In my opinion, the most luxurious feature of the sneaker is the quilted satin sock liner, and then the insole features a darker purple slash brown colorway. On this shoe, you have Jordan branding, and then as stated on the other sneaker, you have Ama Manier branding and the detailed lace aglets of Work Harder pays tribute to Kevin Chow, who actually has a similar phrase that James stated he couldn't fully put on the sneaker, but Work Harder is the mantra of the brand and the sale laces as an extra feature for this sneaker. It was a no brainer for me to actually do a lace swap. We know the inner messages on the tabs from James's mom are very special, sentimental, but drive a message home. You have to get comfortable walking alone in this life. And it's something my mom instilled in me, but she always let me know that she would be there as well because all we have is each other. It's amazing this pair manages to do so much while still stripping down so many things we may associate with the Air Jordan 3 because some would go crazy if the elephant print was changed or removed and we've seen that happen recently. However, to me, James Whitner absolutely created sneaker of the year. Every life is a story and we appreciate sneakers that tell a compelling one of their own. James Whitner shared his story with us on the first Jordan his mother ever purchased for him being the Air Jordan 3. Now this pair provides luxe, quality, admiration. Everything about this pair stands out just as the most important woman in my life and probably yours does too. She is the least respected, appreciated, and celebrated woman. I'm talking about the black woman, but she is also the most inspiring, dedicated, relentless, comforting, and prolific. That's why this pair is so special. It tells a story I can relate to being raised by a black woman, being a black woman in this world. Yeah, I 
should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take the hit and still finish and I won What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy. Thank you again so much for tuning into this video and by far it is the best told story in sneakers this year and it's up against some very good stories from Alayli May also uh, providing sneakers specifically for women and I mean hats off to James. I, I just it's amazing what he created because it is a very simple yet refined pair that I think will stand the test of time. When we look back at collaborative sneakers released by Jordan Brand and Ama Manier, absolutely just wow. And again, a big thank you to Lilac Blonde, Andrew and Abby. You guys are amazing with everything you bring to the space of sneakers, specifically for women. So if you guys are not aware, um, Andrew and Abby are actually big supporters of my channel and they together, father daughter duo, curated a space for women to not only be seen and respected in sneakers, but have access to the pairs that are usually crafted for us. The stories are told for us. But it's almost impossible to get our hands on a pair and they realize this even when present at sneaker conventions and more so they started lilac blonde and ladies i would absolutely encourage you to check them out on instagram the link will be in the description below shop around and maybe you'll find that pair that you haven't been able to get your hands on and they have a wide range of uh, price points as well so you may have some that are going for you know 100 125 on the secondary market but up as well to 300 and 400 dollar range it just depends but having access is extremely important and they have more than just the mission of getting you shoes but five percent of every single sale goes toward the national breast cancer awareness uh, foundation and when you think about how so many of us are affected by breast cancer with the women we love in our lives or women we may know and abby's story is no different her aunt unfortunately passed away from her battle with breast cancer and abby has suffered her own struggles as well so it's a beautiful story of strength but also persevering through and trying to walk in a better purpose and i absolutely love it so thank you again andrew and abby for my pair and what can i what can i i mean i don't even know any more to say about this pair i know the question a lot of people pose to me you know once you have this in hand does it still stand as sneaker of the year for you without a question even more so now even more that i have it in hand and there is a special series that i will present on my instagram at talks.with.tj to again relate my story to the story of this sneaker so please make sure that you tune in for that but it brings back so many memories of my mom and as i reflect now uh, you know as an adult I realized the strength, the fortitude, but still the gentle, caring, kind love that she always displayed and still does to this day, despite everything she went through and all the obstacles she had to overcome in raising me, but also teaching me to be a confident, secure woman that I am today. And I would, I'd be nothing without the woman today. Absolutely. I would be nothing without her. And this pair drives that home. So if you have this in hand, is it sneaker of the year for you? Is it still a sneaker that you're going after? Um, and I, I've been blessed with some great pairs uh, that have dropped in 2021, both women's and then just unisex or men's releases. But this, without a question, is sneaker of the year. So let's break down sizing and how I would style this five different ways. The Air Jordan 3 is arguably one of the more comfortable silhouettes you can have from the Jordan Retro line. When it comes to fit on this specific pair, I've seen some ladies say go down half a size because the satin liner creates a little slippage. Uh, my true size is a seven and a half and this is actually an eight because that's what Lilac Blonde had available still for my size when they sent these over. So I'm wearing an eight, a seven and a half would have fit perfect. The eight just provides extra toe room, but it's not too much of an oversized fit that it creates discomfort. I love the fact that you can style so many different uh, 
pants in terms of the bottom hem and how they may fall over the top of the sneaker such as the h&m linen pants you see here it's a perfect match in terms of the aged look of the sale laces but then also that split midsole and the pants themselves and then here if you have baggier denim you can choose to let the tongue uh rest in front of the pants or you can actually just go ahead and drape the bottom hem of the pants over the top of the sneaker for a more uniform look either way play around with different looks for this specific pair now in terms of styling this one is just a little different in uh, in relation to every other look you will see here but if i if i were forced to go back into an office this may be the look I go with. And so we have uh, H or H&M pencil skirt. Again, I'm not in business casual attire a whole lot because I work from home. So I thought, why not play around with it? You have a pencil skirt and then you have a soft pink melon uh, American Eagle tank. And then you have the Nike tonal socks on with the Air Jordan 3 Ama Manier absolutely love the look i would throw on a tan or maybe cream blazer with this as well just to play up the rest of the tones that you see in the sneaker Now for the second fit here, playing around again with the linen pants and then the gray present on the suede panels of the Air Jordan 3. So you have the Air Jordan by Nike t-shirt that I decided to nod and listen, it's extremely hot. So very relevant <laughs> to style this way right now. And then the linen pants, which are extremely airy, comfortable, light. So depending on what your plans are for the day or if you're on vacation, I think this fit works perfectly well. Moving along to the third outfit. It should be understood. Essentials makes its way into every single lookbook that I do for any pickup or sneaker uh, graciously sent over. So here we have the Fear of God Essentials uh, knit hoodie, and this is in the darker taupe colorway. Uh, shout out to Wolf again for securing this for me because it was a struggle getting my hands on quite a few knit pieces that I wanted from the previous drops. And then you have the Nike Lux yoga leggings, and then again, the tonal socks. I actually picked these up from Finish Line, so if you're looking for earth tone socks, uh, check out your local Finish Line. Now this next look just plays around again with the baggier pants and then this shirt can be worn as a button down shirt dress or just wear it as a regular shirt and so that's what I opted for here. I, I love the fact that the raw edge leather that's present on the sneaker is kind of matching and coordinating with the shirt itself so that's what inspired this specific look. And rounding off the last of the outfits, olive pants, it's a staple. It's absolutely my signature now at this point. Uh, so you have the black Taylor N17 cargo pants that tapers down at the bottom with a Velcro strap. And then the women's vintage style t-shirt. We have that old Nike Jordan logo on the front. Very soft. The, I, it's an oversized fit, but I also went up to a medium. So it draped exactly how I want it. But these colors play so well together. And this is probably the outfit I'm still most most excited about and that you guys will see featured in the series that I'm posting for the Jordan 3 I'm a Manier on Instagram at talks.with.tj. So of all of the looks, you guys absolutely know what you have to do. Sound off in the comments, which is your favorite. You have a total of five to pick from. That's more than usual. <laughs> 
So there you have it. I know there was a lot of anticipation behind how I would style this sneaker and there are at least five or six other outfits I could rattle off right now thrown together on the floor for outfit grids. But just stay tuned. I'm sure I'll style this sneaker a lot and I am blessed with a double up on it. So again, blessings in 2021 because it was a surprise birthday gift down the line and now I know that that was the gift from a certain individual. So Oh, can you see the excitement in my face now? Great sneaker karma and blessings should be passed around. And that's exactly what I want to do in terms of the Nike Dunk High women's black and white colorway that just dropped on July 27th. So shout out to Sneaker Fetish for hitting on my size, but also Wolf Hit. So we have two pairs, which means I'll have my personal and I want to make sure that a young lady is blessed with either uh, with the pair for retail and shipping, nothing more. So you can enjoy this sneaker for yourself. So here are the rules. OK, first off, when you see this picture on Instagram, OK, which, yes, you do need an Instagram account. When you see this picture on Instagram, just go ahead and comment uh i'm a manier and then also in the uh in the comment section of this video here uh make sure that you list your instagram name uh now again this is for a seven and a half in women's which is also a six in men's or boys so ladies if you wear a seven and a half in women's and you want these nike dunk highs for retail plus shipping here is your chance and i'm super excited for whoever receives this pair um they'll be shipped from best laces out which as you know supplies me with tons of streetwear and hype beast apparel all the time so if you stay to the end good luck on possibly securing this nike dunk high in a women's seven and a half for the toe nothing more than retail and shipping and thank you for tuning in to another video be sure to check out lilac blonde the link will be in the description and as always act your age not your shoe size peace out